Hey adventurers, welcome to the crew. I'm Sea Lord Janda, and this is my let's play of Pillars of Eternity. In the last episode, we pretty much cleared out Longwatch Falls, except for dying a lot to the bounty that's down here and the dragon that's in that cave. And, um... I've since bothered to look it up and found out those are both very high level compared to us, so... We will come back to those later. And for now, we are going to head up to explore Durgan's Battery. We are a little low on camp supplies, but I think we'll be alright. Step lightly. Nope. You feel something, someone nudge the small of your back. You turn around. No one's standing there, but you feel it again. Something is moving in your pack. You open your pack and hear a soft burbling sound. As you rummage through your belongings, something slick brushes your hand. It's a baby Lagafaith. It watches you with benign curiosity, eggshell fragments still stuck to its body. You're the first person it saw. It's gonna think you're its papa now. That little four-armed fish baby is your son. Later beams. I couldn't be happier for you. Oh, this pearlescent orb I looted has turned into a baby Lagafaith. Okay. Oh. Wait, was the Thermal Pearl a baby Lagafaith and not a, uh... Hmm. Pearl? That's a problem. Oh well, deal with that later. Up to Durgan's battery. <laughs> This is the heart of the whole thing here, so I'll we'll get our checklist done. Let's see, I think that just leaves... There's going to be a lot of stuff to look at when we get back. Uh, yeah, let's start building the bailey then. Alright. Plant. Okay, so we're outside of the battery, obviously. Looks like it's a pretty big map. I'm sure we'll want to scour it pretty thoroughly. Very ominous music playing. Deer. Okay, the road goes on. This is a cliff of some sort. Oh! Hi, deer. Don't- Oh! Crikey, they're hostile. Okay, um... I guess I should not have gotten so close to the deer. I feel bad now, I... Really tend to destroy nature, but here we are. Six stags. Is this? Ooh, have to drop a horn and a bunch of hides. Several different horns at once. All right. Well, wiped out a local deer herd. Hey, there's a. Uh, I'll see what's armor ahead. Or something sticking out of the snow there. No. Okay. I'm here. All right, we gotta go west along the road then. Hmm. Ista's device makes a terrible screeching noise. The compass points west. Oh, that's the uh, device that's supposed to detect metals or something, isn't it? This looks like one of those, you know, wind instrument things. They exist, I believe. Uh, I don't know, do we keep following the road? Okay, there's another cliff here. And a chasm. What? Oh! Buddy, are you stuck in the chasm? Um... Help! Please, I'm down here! Standing in a narrow outcropping far below the edge of the chasm, a villager waves his arms frantically. 
villagers well out of reach, and the uneven, slick surface of the chasm would prove difficult to climb by hand. Uh, Aider, you got this. Scotty has a solid grasp of knots, and steps forward to secure the line with a sturdy knot. The trapped man presses himself against the chasm wall. Please hurry, the ice is starting to crack! Looking down, Aider can see another smaller ledge further up along the side of the chasm. It's close enough to jump to, but it may not be able to support much weight. Um, I don't think Aider's too great at jumping. Let's stick with climbing. Aider takes firm hold of the rope and cautiously climbs down toward the ledge. There's an ominous crunch as the ice shifts somewhere below. The trapped man lets out an alarmed cry. Hurry! Um, how did you get yourself in this position, buddy? This is kind of on you. In the ledge, Aider has a moment to survey the surroundings. The trapped villager is almost directly below, his frightened face turned up to watch Aider's progress. The thin ice, uh, Aider takes a moment to look around. Several sections of the wall below appear to be comprised of sheets of ice, like windows set into the side of the chasm. The thin ice is pocked through with air bubbles, and moving too quickly across the surface could cause it to shatter. Okay, he's just gotta go slow and steady then. Aider continues carefully down the chasm. I don't think it'll hold much longer. There's a faint clattering sound and a sharp cry. Glancing down, Aider sees the man has slipped, only to grab hold of the rocky wall just in time to stabilize himself. As Aider passes the fragile section of ice, the winds begin to pick up. The freezing gusts tug fiercely at Aider's clothing, howling past. Nearby, there's a narrow hollow in the wall of the cavern that could provide some shelter until the winds die down again. Aider's got tons of constitution. He'll press on. Yeah. Unfazed by the freezing winds, Aider continues the descent. At last, Aider comes to within arm's reach the trapped villager and extends a hand toward him. When Aider's hand is mere inches away, the outcropping beneath the trapped man's feet suddenly shudders and gives way, and he starts to fall. Uh, dive forward, Aider. Aider drops down towards the falling man and reaches him just in time. The rope around Aider's waist brings both parties to a painful stop. Aider grabs hold of the man and hoists him up. The villager wraps his arms tightly around his rescuer. Sections of the outcropping begin to crumble away into the darkness below. Passenger in tow, Aider begins the ascent. Aider makes steady progress back up the side of the chasm, the rescued villager clinging on tightly. At last, Aider reaches the top and climbs back over the side to safety. Hey, you did it, Aider. This caught me one of my best ropes and grappling hooks, but alright. Oh, thank you. I've been down there so long, I thought I was done for. I'm heading back to town. Watch your step out here. Alright, 300 copper. Did our good deed for the day. Oh, hello, ogres. What's your deal? The stench. Even worse when dead. Behind Garmin, us! Bring him. Baragon spoke of this one. Let him be. Oh. Hey, they're not hostile. That's nice. At least his device points directly at the cavern entrance. Okay, so does that... Istha is the one who gave us, like, the, um... Not this button. This, right? Yeah, she has a prototype that she, I'm supposed to use to track precious metals. Okay, into the cavern we go. Glad we're allied with the ogres now, well, at least truce with the ogres now. Or, huh? Classic ice cave. And a pile of bones with a rite of walking shadows in it. AoE stealth. Oh, the way out. Interesting. Oh, and lag of faith. Okay. Bunch of lag of faith. All my casters are kind of stuck over here. Okay, Loth is paralyzed. I will start firing off fireballs. Yeah, that hurt him. That hurt him pretty good.
vaporized that guy. Attacks are actually coming off properly. Kind of shocking, right? Really. Well, yeah. yeah. I'm Crushes here. those lack of faith. Good to have a winnable fight again. Absolutely. Okay. What else we got? What's this? Pile of rocks. White Adra gems. Fifteen hundred copper. A handful of polished crystals of white adra retrieved from a Lagafaith cavern. All are covered in notches of peculiar engravings so that their meaning is unknown. No, we're looting indigenous artifacts or something, aren't we? No, oh, well. You shouldn't have been immediately hostile to me if you didn't want your stuff looted. Stand Wait, together! Okay. Oh, bye, ooze. Oh. My house is still petrified. There we go. Isn't there something over here? Oh yeah, thank you. An exceptional warbow. Nice. Okay, I think that's everything. There's a way out over here, although... Not sure if that's going to lead me to a different area of the battery, or... We'll see where it takes us. Oh yes, it's definitely, um, well, we've found a way across the cavern. Probably no biggie. Give all the meat, yes. No, I want, no, I can't take the lot. There we go. I've got this. Yeah, lock it. It's Girl, done. Unlock it. All right, we're all leveling up thanks to that. Arquebus, a diamond, 350 copper. Not especially rare. Lame. Although, to be fair, Certainly. prices are hugely inflated in real life. Let's see this stubborn Damn bastard. Damn we can't unlock this one. And we've pissed off the lag of faith. And there's a lot of them. And a wasp been paralyzed again. Well, hit him with a fireball. Oh! Per encounter, right? Scanny starts shooting people. I will start firing off. Loth is getting melee attacked. Pretty overwhelming the crushing. It's alright, really. I'm here. Everybody go there we go. Alright. I don't even hey. know what the lag of faith's deal yes. is. Like that's super unclear still. They're just hostile. Seems like they should be intelligent enough to have some deal beyond being just hostile, but maybe Let's not. Let's see the stubborn bastard. Can't unlock that. Camping supplies, good. I guess we should level up. Four of us can. Hey. Oh, it's a later can. Another seven hundred XP. Yes. I'll just wait until we all can. Exceptional Stiletto, Ring of Unshackling, which suppress affliction, and 26 copper. And, oh, large sackcloth package stuffed to capacity. A long gouge along one side has permitted some of its contents to spill out. Shallow tins that stink heavily of sveph. Oh boy, a drug shipment and 40 gold. Don't know what the hell we're going to do with that, but we got some drugs. I guess that's what was in this caravan, huh? Well, not just that. A lot of food and stuff, too. Okay, so that's the far side of this cavern. Slash 
crevasse. Take a look at this. Ooh. What's this now? A stiletto and a topaz, which is worth 500. Blue topaz is its most iconic incarnation. Let's yes. see this stubborn bastard. It's done. We had a really easily unlocked chest with the mace, shield, brigandine, and helm. Oh, is free. I guess we head up the road, and we see if there's another crossing point or what, because we're just on the opposite side of this crevasse now. And another high of fate. Ah, oh, great. Hate those things. Way worse than the lie of faiths. Right, they're immune to crush damage. So that spell does not work right on them. It's not a kit either. How may I help? This shit. Got it. <laughs> not sure the fire works very well on it. I don't. Well, I don't. It doesn't say that it has any damage reduction against fire, so it probably works all right. Lichna. Just go for the barbaric blow on it. Maybe the stun air as well. Faith here aren't too bad. Honestly, I feel like the lag of faith in the last area were tougher. At least some parts of it. Oh, Sorry. bridge. Okay. Durgan's Crossing. Well, that must be the. Well, obviously, all ways are intended, but uh, a lot of these musical things are. Uh, this must be the more obvious way to cross here. Let's finish exploring this side first since we came in on this side. Another one of these big walls of stone. I guess they're just here to divide the area up into more sort of approachable segments or something. This crate is empty, though it smells strongly of fish. Noted. Dang, there's a lot of this map. This is the outside of Durgan's battery. Well, that one's broken. Sad. Gen potion and snow cap, but it's not even stealing. He's got a wolf. We've got a wolf. Actually, we've got a fox, even though it's the size of a wolf. Hello there. Always good to see more kith on the road. You can relax for the time being. Ingot here will let me know if any ogres come up on us. Ought to be heading down the mountains soon, but I've still got some supplies if you need anything. Uh, who are you? Name's Terragair. I come up to Stalwart sometimes to trade. Nothing fancy like Yduran has, just supplies, ingredients. Came out here to get some air after the raid. Never been much of one for towns. Uh, which way to Durgan's Battery? You're one of those, huh? Just follow the road north and west across the bridge. You'll know it when you see it. Have a care. Lag of Faith moved into the area not long ago, and they've already made short work of a few caravans. Yeah, I noticed. Uh, do you know Galvino? I think everyone knows Galvino. He has a cabin a little ways north of here. You'll want to follow the road a ways, then head into the trees. Okay, north. Don't go too far north, though. Got bandits crawling all over the road into the pass. Now, what do you know about the bandits? Uh, sure do. Most of the caravans have to take the one road down into the pass. A group of bandits set up shop just north of here before the bend. They'll just take a toll on good days, your head most others. I keep clear of them myself, and they don't usually come down the mountain. Alright, what do you got for sale? Mm, pretty outstandingly exceptional stuff, just not anything I need, but... I will buy 
But I only need one set of camping supplies, I think. Yeah. I'll buy the lockpicks, just because on principle I don't ever want to run out of lockpicks. Alright, good meeting you, Terragare. So north, there is Galvino, and also bandits. Okay, the road kind of forks here. I guess we go this way first. Nope, building. I think the Galvino's cabin. Alright. Lifting up a corner of the tarp reveals a jumble of rusted metal alongside the firewood. Alright. Uh, let's see if Galvino's willing to help us out. I don't even remember. He's just, he's lived up here, so he's supposed to know something about the battery, maybe. He's got grain. I found his hut. Where is he? Oh, crikey. Oh, why, Galvino? I get it, you're a recluse and all, but... And I'm literally stealing all your stuff, but it's not marked as stealing, so nobody cares. <laughs> Christ's sake. Okay. Maybe we should all... Oh, I straight up died in that trap. Alright. Rough. I'll see what's ahead. Maybe we should have Sagani scout a little, eh? Just in case of any further. <laughs> this map depicts the peak of the mountain with markers denoting altitude. Interesting. Alright, down into the basement. He's probably here, although... I don't know how elaborate this place is. Not a sound. Always something new. Oh, that was close. Damn it. Okay. Hey. Ader, you got this, buddy. Alright then. Magic I'm traps here. are kind of hard to dodge. But... Oh, he's got constructs too. How fun. Damn, Galvino, you're a bit of a paranoid bastard, huh? I mean. Can we all get out of sneak mode and get into the combat, maybe? Start fighting the constructs, yeah. I'm guessing fireball is probably not the best idea against them. I'll go with that. That's the right thing. Oh, cool. Get off. Hey, blow, knock down. Will all you actually shoot something? Pick a target. We catch up combat really weird well because of the stick mode or something, and. Did not all damage. Okay, there we go. Vessel flesh, yay. Wait, trap. Absolutely. Son of a bitch. How did we not trigger that one during the combat? Lay in low. Ah, that is true. Okay. It's done. And we actually disarmed it. Okay, 87 silver and a potion of iron skin. Damn, Galvino, how big is your workshop? Scroll. These crates hold innumerable discarded mechanical hinges, faceplates, and limbs. A gelatinous green film is congealed along the bottom of this scattered machine. Shattered machine. Okay, it's a left or right question. Um. I guess we go left, and oh look, it's a uh, super messed up mannequin construct things. And I think they're casting fireball on us. They sure are. Oh, they just they just explode. I see. I'm here. The unstable ones just blow themselves up. That's helpful. Step lightly. 20 bonies, and let's see. This paper contains a loose list of apparent personages separated by dates. Golden Dog, Long Watch Falls, Bandit, Mequin's Dog in Prima, Some Smuggler, Folk's Dog, 
Murderer. Nice hair. Ritling's dog. Idiot who tried to knife me. Under the list is a note in a different hand. Deveris, devil, just give me numbers. Interesting. Is he turning people into these things? Because that's not ideal. He probably is, actually, because they need souls, right? They're not immune to fire, to be fair, actually. So I could try this something on them. I guess. I'm here. I'm here. Well, waiter, why did you just abandon us? Get back here. We'll just use our free magic missiles to vaporize this thing. Didn't really work, actually, but good enough. These are all just anchor, right? I mean, it works, but it doesn't do anything helpful. <laughs> Burning flesh one was actually pretty tough. Okay, yeah, constructs don't ever have anything valuable on them. I'll see what I can find. Viscous green liquid seeps from a crack in this glass tank. It exudes a strong chemical odor that's almost painful to inhale. There are not a few of these things, huh? Stand together. Hey. All right, let's start. Can't really get both of them with this. Let's just. I'm here. Oops, found another one. Ouch. I was kind of anticipating Galvino would just be a friendly conversation, but apparently it's a nightmare death trap construct dungeon. Son of a bitch. Ooh. Um, I can't let you out, buddy. I don't have enough mechanic skill. Ready, but how close are we to leveling? We're very close to leveling up. I'm here. So maybe we'll come back if we can get scouting more mechanics. Oh. Ouch. Damn, Scott, you didn't even detect that one. Ooh, good thing I sold most of my jewelry. Oh, because she's in sneak mode. I finally understood that one. Okay. Has she always been in sneak mode when she says that? I don't know. Okay, more constructs. And cool viscous liquid Tesla coil ah! tank things. Oh, this is a lot of constructs. Thanks for watching, adventurers. New parts will be up every other day, or you can watch live on Twitch. If you did enjoy the video, consider leaving a like or subscribing. Have a nice day, adventurers. This is Sea Lord Janda, signing off.